Uh, women's team, I uh, watched a little bit of them this year, obviously not too much. Um, I think they're doing all right. I think they're probably, I think they're up for a sort of mid-table finish. So um, yeah, that would be all right for them. Obviously a change of manager a couple of times this year. So um, yeah, probably mid-table finish for them. Uh, in terms of the men, um, obviously it's a bit of a cliche, but sort of take one game at a time. Um, it's so, so tight. So you, like, you win one game, you can jump four or five places. Um, you lose a game, you can drop again uh, four or five places down the league. So uh, we'll just keep taking it one game at a time and, um, and see where we are at the end of the season. Uh, yeah, obviously home form was something we've been um, disappointed about. Um, obviously we want to try and make um, Woodside a fortress and um, I think teams have come here and it's been a little bit easy to, for them to go and play against um, and yeah it's a bit surprising that the away form is better than your home form which is um, a little bit unusual but um, we're obviously analysing all the games back and finding different ways to rectify any sort of um, mistakes and errors that we're going to try and improve on so um, yeah I'm sure we're, um, we're um, get back to winning ways here at Woodside and back to making it fortress. Um, not much product to be fair, it's all but uh, just in the mirror in front of a hairdryer uh, with a brush, uh, a little bit of product in after that, uh, a bit of spray um, and then yeah, the Lego head stays on for a couple of hours <laughs> and to the, until the wind and the rain comes out, um, but, uh, until then yeah, just a bit of a hairdryer, a bit of a bit of product, a bit of hairspray and then uh, yeah, that's, that's how it looks like this. <laughs> Um, probably most impressed with, um, obviously apart from Wervin, Harry Gay Barra. Um, I thought, despite the fact we, we didn't really get going uh, for whatever reason when they come down here and played played us, um, I thought they were the best sort of team we've come up against. Um, probably most suited to sort of a national south side, um, direct, loads of pace, um, good identity. Um, so yeah, they'd probably say despite the fact we didn't really get going that day. Um, they were the, the best team, in my opinion, that we, we've come up against this season. Um, I think it's a real fun balance between um, going on courses and getting your badges and, and learning from those types of environments, um, as well as obviously jumping into the deep end and being um, on the grass, or the Fiji in this case, um, sort of coaching every day, learning from that, making mistakes um, 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 and putting those things right. So I think it's a real fun, fun balance for coaches and, and managers in this type of environment. Um, so keep learning away from, away from your club, but also going on, on courses, speaking to different people, can you learn off them? Um, in terms of obviously different environments being quite unfortunate, uh, enough to um, be coaching every day, but also in terms of my background, uh, being at university, learning from there, got my degree and masters. Um, so learning from that, different lecturers, that was obviously a massive, massive part of my life, very influential um, to where I am now. Um, and obviously working in different environments, been very fortunate enough to, to work in, in this environment here, which I'm extremely grateful for. Um, in first team environment, though, the pressures are those, obviously tr having to try and win each week and, and also worked in academy footballs um, right at the foundation phase uh, with different pressures, um, obviously having to develop players rather than it's not really about winning. Uh, worked in female football, uh, worked at sort of an international level, so um, yeah I think it's, it's, a, it's a big balance between trying to um, get, that, get that right and I think you can learn loads from, from from both sides but yeah I think it's it's really important to um, to get your badges as well uh, which I've done and but also be on be on the grass and always always coaching um, yeah I think it works well to be fair there's obviously we um, spend a lot of time together during the week so we've got a good relationship um, obviously a long time with uh, Aaron as well um, it sort of changed in, in terms of a match day um, on home games tend to sort of um, hinge watch the game from the from the stand um, obviously get a 
gets a better view from the game, being able to see it higher up. Um, and if there's anything that needs tweaking, tweaking, it'll, uh, it'll phone down um, to to ourselves down at the down at the dugout. Um, and then obviously sort of away games um, when there's not we haven't got a big stand, we're all sort of stand on the stand down at the dugout, and obviously any sort of information we need to get over to the players and. Would do so um, in that sort of matter. Um, no, um, no, it's definitely decreased since uh, since uni. It's because I um, work here seven days a week, so I can't get out of the office. So uh, unless I employ uh, any good-looking uh, barmaid behind the behind the bar, um, yeah, I think um, the old girl from front's going to be on uh, on the down low for a for a while. <laughs> Um, yeah, or um, if we do, we're, uh, I'll get a uh, tattoo. Um, club wouldn't run without Stu. What's brilliant about this league um, this year, it's a great showcase for, for Sussex football um, of all the local teams. So um, brilliant for loads of derby games uh, throughout the season. But yeah, I think it's a real good showcase for, for Sussex football in terms of how strong it is. Obviously, a number of teams playing at this, uh, this level and a couple playing higher. I think First of all, it's brilliant that we've set up these youth teams this year. Um, um, been a real success on and off the pitch. Um, in terms of, they've all got some big characters in, in all of the teams. Um, some yeah, real big characters, real lively. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I'd probably, if I'm gonna stick my, I'd probably say the, the under 14s, they're definitely the, the liveliest, um, the funniest at times, to be fair, uh, for such a young bunch of lads. But um, no, there's some real big characters in um, all of the age groups, so yeah, it's real, really good to work with them and sort of on and off the pitch. Um, got real ambitions to, obviously, to, to keep, pushing on, keep learning, keep learning every day. Um, obviously in this type of environment, um, different aspects of football as well, uh, in terms of the, alongside the coaching, performance analysis. Um, but yeah, I just obviously want to eat, each day keep improving, keep learning. Um, for me, the um, I'd love to be a football league uh, manager, obviously when I'm a little bit older. Um, so that's probably the, the ambition for me later on in life, but loads to do in terms of um, improving myself uh, to, to get to the, that sort of level. <laughs>